wonderful person and that um, that you have something to offer somebody and if if you know that you have something to give then that comes out and um, and people respond to that if you are confident inside yourself then then people will respond to that and women women will very much respond to somebody who who doesn't seem like who is interested in them as a person and not just as somebody to sleep with women are not usually turned on by somebody who seems like all they want is to sleep with them because women get that all the time um even unattractive women get it all the time um so if you really seem interested in them as a person, and of course it never hurts to be able to make somebody laugh. That always helps. Someone saw you at a bar. What are some do's and don'ts on approaching you? Oh, God. <laughs> um, if someone saw me at a bar, most of the time I am not very interested in being approached in a bar, but I have been approached in a bar and I have made friends so obviously it's not impossible. Um, do some terms. Uh, it, it's okay to buy me a drink, I suppose. Uh, usually if, if uh, I want to sit and chat with somebody, that's a fine, it's, it's an old standard. That's not a bad thing. Um, it's always kind of good to come up and ask some kind of question. Um, usually it's good if the question is a question that you can't answer in a, in a word. Or like, what time is it doesn't work because, you know, then you have nowhere to go in the sentence. A guy once asked me, uh, which was a really good, a really good way to start a conversation. He complimented me on my haircut, and said that there was a lady at his office that that uh, was looking for somebody to cut hair. It could have been a complete story, but it didn't matter, because you know, because he asked me where did I get my haircut or something like that, and then then we were then at least we had started a conversation, and. If you start a conversation, you can always go from there. Um, and when it's very clear that somebody doesn't want to talk to you, leave them alone. Um, and it's usually very clear. The signals are, I won't look you in the eye, I won't um, turn to you, and I will answer you with monosyllables. You know, you say, what time is it? I say 9.30 and I look away say, can I buy you a drink? I say, no, thank you. And I look away. Um, and that's a signal that says, I don't want to be bothered. Thank you anyway. <laughs> um, uh, sometimes women will be very polite, but that if somebody's interested, if I'm interested, um, I will look the person in the eye and I will smile and I will try to keep the conversation up somehow. And sometimes you run out of conversation and you look up and you, but you keep smiling and you keep your body turned to the person if you want to continue the conversation, even if you don't know how sometimes. Um, movies, movies are always safe topics. Don't start with something sexual. If you start with something sexual, I won't talk to you. <laughs> um, because then I'll assume that all you want to do is get laid, and I'm not interested in that most of the time. And if I am, I'm probably interested in it with someone I know. Um, I think those are the do sometimes I can think of off the hand. How does this dress make you feel? How does the dress make you feel? I like this dress. Uh, except it's kind of wrinkled at the moment. Um, it's fun. It moves well. And, uh, <laughs> and it's easy to take off. And um, it's, it's comfortable. 
I don't, it's one, this is one of the things I wear when I don't feel like wearing anything when it's hot. And, it's, and, uh, and it has good memories. This dress has very good memories attached to it. So. Can you share one? Share it? Ah, yes. This I can share. Um, I, uh, uh, I was doing a play in, um, in Minnesota. And I, uh, I actually, I never ever date the guys that I am, that, that work opposite me, because, I don't know, I just don't. Um, but this guy I was really into, and he was really into me, and, um, and we didn't do anything while we were doing the show, except we made out a little bit, but we didn't, we didn't have sex, and, uh, it was my last, uh, the show closed and I went to um, Minneapolis and stayed in a friend's house. Uh, they were gone for the weekend and we went out to dinner that evening, um, myself and this friend of mine. And I wore this dress <laughs> and I remember him complimenting me on this dress because uh, he told me that, what was it, that I looked good, I looked good coming and going. <laughs> that was the way he put it. and. Um, and he asked me if I was wearing anything underneath because when you spin around and we went dancing, and he's a very good dancer, he leads, and it's really wonderful. And um, and uh, when it spins or when you spin, it goes up. And you can see whatever I'm wearing underneath. Um, then uh, we went back to his house, or no, we went back to my place. And in Minnesota? It, well, it wasn't my place. It was the place I was staying for that evening, because it was my last evening in in Minneapolis, and uh, and we broke the bed. <laughs> <laughs> we broke that person's bed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, it was a good time. <laughs> How did you break it? Well. Um, well, um, it, it was one of these futon beds, and actually, we, we actually just injured the bed. We, we fixed it. Um, but, um, we had a good motion going, and, um, and we, uh, we, uh, the motion kicked out one of the legs too much of the bed and collapsed on top, on top of us. It was, it was very funny. Yeah. <laughs> that's never that's the only time that's happened to me. It was it was a good time. I will never ever forget it. And uh, it will be a joke between the two of us for the rest of our lives. And how often do you see him? I don't. I never see him. Um I have his picture and resume. I'm sure if I were ever there, he'd be very happy to see me. Um and we write sometimes, but he lives in he lives in Minneapolis, and I live here. So. And you're wearing this dress the evening you went out to eat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are some of the other feelings you associate with some of your other favorite clothes? My other favorite clothes? Well, it depends on the clothing. Um, I really love my leather jacket, and I can't wear it in Los Angeles because it's too hot. <laughs> um, um, but I really love that leather jacket. How does it make you feel? Oh, it makes me feel strong and powerful and sexy and and um, a little wild, and I like I like that because I don't feel that way most of the time. But it, you know, you feel feel like nobody's gonna mess. Look great that way, um, and hose make make your legs look wonderful. Um, but. Uh, I don't really spend a lot. I like looking at men. I don't, you know, much what more than I like looking at men. After I had sex, I found that I, uh, I wanted to have sex. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I always knew I did, but, um, but it's harder to continually say no after you've had sex and you really love to have sex. Then it's, it's hard to, to put that off. And uh, and I think that really screws up my relationships. Is because you can't wait. Because yeah, because I because I don't wait. 